This is Calverton 4 layout and this is the main layout which is 10 by 4 feet. It's two loops and eight sidings and right in the corner at the end is a 4 by 2 piece which actually stands alone. This is designed so that I can store trains and locos prior to going on the main layout. Now there are some other things in this shed that I've done. I've got a few shells with a cheap CD player. I can play some sounds. Now, they can either be loco sounds or music, whatever I want. And I've got a list of my loco sounds there. And then I've got some nice posters, LNER posters, things that mean things to me, some empty boxes, and then some containers which are actually containing a few cheap wagons and things like that. Things I don't mind getting stolen if someone happens to break into this shed. But these are watertight containers, very important. That's so things don't go rusty. Down here I've got a fan and a heater and a table and two chairs. So quite nicely set out and some curtains. And it's all insulated with a diffused light. So the layout itself, let's just give you a quick guided tour here. There's a windmill and some rocks. I wanted some rocks either side of a railway track, just so I could get some nice shots as the trains run through. And then I wanted a lake or a pond. Well, actually, it's a sort of miniature lake, and this is intended to have been a man-made lake. Nowadays, only the railway employees themselves can get to use it because of the position it's in. Now, Calverton layout used to be an old little layout uh, platform here. That has since been disused and changed into an engineering platform. And the new Calverton layout is much larger. And so on this preserved railway, as I like to think of it, we now have a roadway where car parkies are somewhere into the distance there and then people come down here and they go into either the waiting rooms across the bridge there's their toilet, I always need a toilet and then over here we have the signal box so we've got all of the main things we need we also have some water and over here some water and coal and just here we have an engine shed so that the engines can be worked on and another platform which again is used for engineering so I've got quite a bit of open space as well I like that the contrast between that and the detailed areas I just want to show you the car rally now this allows me to use pristine cars with no driver which is how they come in the box and that to me is quite important otherwise if they're on a road I'd need to put a driver in them really so this was an ideal solution because I can display any vehicle I want, any vehicle that I like. So I've got a level crossing there and then onto the display area which is really used for just storing my locos prior to going on the layout. So I've got a disused stable and farmhouse and a goods shed. So here I've got some commercial vehicles, I might one day weather those up. But again they don't need drivers, they're not moving. I've got some Nissan huts over here. And then the four main tracks that are used for storage. Going out into a make-believe tunnel. Over here of course I've got my tunnel on my layout. Always important so that you can always pretend that the trains are going off into the distance somewhere. So that is a brief, a quick overview of Calverton 4 layout, the logic behind it. I like it because it's simple, it's only two loops and eight sidings, there's less to go wrong. The sidings over the far side are mechanically operated those points, whereas on the near side I just operate them by hand. The less that you have operating mechanically, the less there is to go wrong. And I deliberately haven't made this layout too complicated. I like the fact that it's loops because I can just sit there and watch the trains go round and round. I can also actually angle this layer up and down on little spaces on its feet. And that means if I want I can have it on a slant so the trains can actually go fast down the back straight and slow into the platform whilst the analog controller is just set at the same speed. This is an analog layer of course. And for sounds I've also got a sound coach now that I can run behind my steam engines so I can have sound going with the train if I wish. But most of the time I actually prefer just to run the trains as they are.
So there it is, Calverton Fallout. I hope you like it.